It's Thursday, June 25th. Thanks for tuning in to the Day Weather Podcast. Well, it's going to be a busy day of thunderstorms for most areas today across the Intermountain West and the Western High Plains. Thunderstorm activity will pick up today and in some areas will continue into Friday as a Pacific cool front is coming in out of Idaho and western Montana. This front did move into the northern Wyoming overnight and early this morning. It will bring cooler temperatures later today and into Friday. Most areas in Colorado, southern Wyoming, Nebraska stay warm today. Northern central Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Utah will be cooler, but that cooler air will sweep in all areas. Thunderstorms are going to be a good bet. We may end up with a few strong thunderstorms today across eastern Wyoming, western Nebraska, and western South Dakota, so watch out for that. Now we're going to warm up for the weekend and into early next week. I think the weather this weekend for just about everybody looks really quite good. Yeah, we'll have a couple of thunderstorms. We normally do this time of year. Temperatures will be comfortable, and it should be a really good weekend if you want to get the RV, the camper out head to the hills. Now, a possible front and trough of low pressure could come in to start July. In fact, our confidence is growing that the first two days of July will be downright on the cool side for many of you, but that also will bring some needed rain chances. This is the forecasted rainfall areas through Sunday, and you can see the front up here producing showers and thunderstorms over Idaho, Montana, and the northern Wyoming. This area here around Casper to Douglas to Luss, up into the Bighorn Basin, around Lander Riverton as well. We're really, really hoping all of this, which is supposed to basically happen today through tonight, comes to fruition and they can get some needed rain. Same goes for eastern Colorado, western Kansas, into this area here, should get into some shower and thunderstorm activity. And we even have, on the western slope, a smattering of showers and thunderstorms here over the next couple of days as well, although the moisture supply west of the divide here is not nearly as good. This is where we are with the upper level pattern right now. We have high pressure in the eastern Pacific. This little dip doesn't look like much, does it? But this little dip right here is the Pacific front and trough that's coming through the area later today and tonight. And this is what will trigger the showers and thunderstorms. Some of those strong and also will bring in slightly cooler air in from the northwest for Friday. But by the weekend, southwest wind flow brings back desert air. So temperatures are going to warm up again. But look at this guy right here. Here is another unseasonably strong trough coming off the North Pacific, driven in by this high pressure ridge building up into the Gulf of Alaska. Remember, when there's a ridge in the Gulf of Alaska, we go to the fridge. We get cooler. And this trough right here arrives on the first day of July. Look at this upper level low over northern Colorado and southern Wyoming. Yesterday we showed you this, and yesterday we said the model might be overdoing it. We still think that, but this is an impressive area of low pressure to start July with, and it's going to usher in cooler temperatures probably early next week to mid next week. We're also going to have better chances for shower and thunderstorm activity as this low swings on through. And these are what our forecasted temperatures are like relative to normal for the first day of July. This is July 1st, Wednesday. Temperatures as much as 20 to 5. Look at this, 27 degrees below normal on Wednesday. Now, basically, this would mean that the first day of July, highs might only be in the 60s in this purple area right here. Now, again, this might be overdoing it, but even into July, Mother Nature keeps throwing us these cold fronts and troughs off the Pacific that really are stopping us from getting into a full-time summertime pattern. Still some ups and downs. Now, after the middle of next week cool down, I know a lot of you are going, okay, what does that mean for the 4th of July weekend? We've got a big 4th of July weekend coming on up. The good news is high pressure builds back in over the desert states, and this brings back in warm air. So, yes, while the middle of next week in July 1st and 2nd could be quite cool, by the July 4th weekend, we should see those temperatures back up again. Thanks for listening and watching to the Day Weather Podcast. Have yourself a really good Thursday. We'll talk to you on Friday.